Servus. I was here before, but you don't know that because I recently tried to record and the entire footage sounded like this. Thankfully, the heat wave is over. Ah! Today we are playing Germany and Hitler just forgot to sign any of his special orders. Instead, we will just bank all of the political penis that we have. As for our production, this is gonna be a little bit weird because right now we have the MIFO bills, but we also won't be getting a bunch of factories. Like we lose out on 12 civilian factories from HGV and KDF Wagen. And we won't get the Sudetenland as core, Austria as core, the rest of Czechoslovakia. And we won't get Hungary and Romania as puppets. So we do want civilian factories, else we won't be able to produce anything. But mill factories cost 7.2k and civ factories cost 10.8k. So we're in this weird spot where mill factories are better, but civ factories will scale better. So I'm just gonna produce mill factories until we go to war, which will be relatively quickly at the very least. A rubber from the Dutch East Indies, cancel the tungsten, a bunch of guns, a bunch of this. Wait, why did I order rubber? Ah, right. I don't know why I ordered rubber, because I had rubber. Yeah, that sounds about right. We won't be needing any guns because, um, well, we won't ever be getting there. What you can do is invade Austria and then puppet them, but that won't matter because the event for getting Austria only fires if you are democratic or non-aligned. I might need a new mouse because I'm just mashing right click right now. Alright, I guess I'll have to order a new mouse. I will constantly be opening this window. Let's just make it easier for me. And now I just have to prevent myself from clicking this button. Oh god, we're... Oh, I already started. Whatever. It's fine. At this point I only need to org this to get a little bit of air XP going. Although, in the grand scheme of things, it won't matter. The last time I did it, I did get Bormann early since we do have a lot of things that we want to get. We want an army XP guy, we want Goebbels for the additional war support, we want the air XP guy, but yeah, I think uh, Bormann is still fine because we don't have the command power to get either of them just yet. As always, this burst. The production efficiency base is so much better in the early game than the additional factory output. And then, you know, if you are stronger at the early game, you can scale better into the late game by being stronger against everyone else. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just basic maths. Ow. Sorry, AT2020. I didn't mean to be an idiot. I was just born this way. I think we're just gonna get the two anti-raids. No, wait, um, let's get... Da -da -da -da. Cop. That's gonna be very useful right now. And then, well, the longer it is, the longer it better. Professional Officer Core, the best one. But the best one is definitely Quick Improv, since it does the same thing, but you get more planning speed and command abilities cost. But here you get Army XP and Land Doctrine, so it's, it's better in the early game, and then later on you should switch to Quick Improv. Which I definitely do every single time, but hey, uh, do as I do, not as I say. Uh, it's funk time. Due to how much PP we have, I think I'm actually gonna shuffle around with the advisors a lot. A lot. I will shuffle them around once or twice, which admittedly is much more than I usually do. And then the cast designer. Since France and Britain just announced an alliance, I think it's time to conquer Holland. And yeah, sure, I will join the non-intervention committee. I don't know for what, certainly not the Netherlands. I am gonna get a uh, Schoen already, just to make the invasion of the Netherlands easier. Because as we all know, the Dutch AI is a huge threat if you don't do this. Aircrew service, centralized control, as always. And of course, bold attack. There we go, we can get war economy. Ah, oh, we can still get Fritsch. All the Fritsch won't be that useful in this war. Mm. Expensive conscription. Mm. 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 Sure, let's just get Fritsch, make it easy on me. We shall declare war on the Netherlands for a little bit of more world fire, which means we get more war support. The United Nations don't want you to notice, but the Netherlands are legitimately free real estate. Just look at this. We <laughs> Yeah, if I, if I did a proper front line, then they would have already capitulated, but uh, there we go. We almost can't annex them. With the Dutch East Indies, because I do have the DLC, I can do special things, which is resource rights and puppet and things, and I will annex. And then we can get only one boat. The other one we will have to sink because... 
the UK will get upset if we get more than we have points, I think. I don't know what the logic behind that is. Anyway, now we have a bunch of rubble. That means we can start producing a little bit of truck and we also need AA, which I have for gore. Mifo builds are gone, which means we finally have free PP a day again. Although we don't really need it at this point. We shall get tungsten from the Soviet Union. There's no way we would ever be at war with the Soviet Union. They are an ally against the capitalists. I think Richthofen and then we are pretty much set up. Oh yeah, we can get some more war power. We can get more angry people. I think it's time we take some core German territory, which means Bock, you can go to a new castle, take a nice little vacation. We will need a bunch of additional stuff because uh, some of these nations will just join the allies. We can get Dönitz. <laughs> uh, you're so funny, chat. The French and the British have justified on Handed, protect, guaranteed. They've guaranteed Austria. We don't need Funk right now. Sadly, we cannot get Schacht because we do need the four-year plan, even though we won't ever get the Sudetenland. Himmler is also gonna be very useful once we are at war with the Allies. Bormann is pretty much useless, so let's get Himmler. And instead of Funk, because we're not producing mills right now, we shall get Kanagis. Stop exercising, wait a little bit for the Orc to go up again. And then we are GTG. We can invite Italy, which we will do. There we go, we are going. and. It's just this. I come on, paradox. Angeki, all of your boys go up here. Since we've landed, we can justify on a country that doesn't exist. It's gonna make the war with the Soviets easier. I love how both of these front lines have different definitions of where the troops should be. Oh god, down here are a lot of troops. Rock propaganda, domestic film industry. Yeah, let's get economy rates. Because of the Alps, I shall send all of my planes here. Jutland is mine. We can justify on Hugo now. Yeah, let's get Hugo into the war. We do have supply problems. Denmark, go now. Mark. No, because of the Alps, the cringe, impassable terrain, we will have to make do with something else. Now let's you try and pin this guy in Vienna. Austria is pretty much gone. God, the British, they are fighting with tooth and nail. And it's British chief, so it's pretty much disgusting. <laughs> Get it? Bad hygiene. <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> oh my god, imagine passing Brexit. Romania is still guaranteeing you go. Doesn't really matter to me, honestly. That way I can also get Romania. Oh, Arti Specialist! Yes, Heinrichi, I love you. That's a joke, right? That's... no. It can't be, we have June. It can't be a joke. London has fallen, that should mean the UK is out of this war soonish. Maybe Portsmouth? Yeah, Portsmouth and then they're gone. There we go, Czechoslovakia joined the allies. Uh, you guys immediately rush over to this front. Now we can just station Heinrichi in the UK so they can't be uncapitulated. Justify on Lithuania, honestly. This way we get Poland into the war. Why do we get a naval invasion for this? Is it? No, Italy is not yet in the war. There you go, that's just something that I did not want to see. <sighs> Why did they invade me so quickly, man? Wait, what? What? What just? Uh, change of plans. Hitler wanted us to chill a little bit, but I think it's time we go. I love how they just border go on my land by giving occupation to some, some random people. Okay, let's get into Belgium. No! Lithuania! I guess I can try and get the Baltics. I'm gonna see if this works. Also, uh, just take Stuttgart, please. That's a core with a bunch of factories that... Man, the AI. The new Hoi 4 DLC. Man, the AI. Oh, we need to cap Poland. I mean, it shouldn't be a huge problem. Once the French border is gone, I'm playing without a focus and... Well, honestly, this looks like I'm playing without focus. <laughs> to me. I suppose France hosted Ethiopia. But Ethiopia. It's not part of the Allies, which is why this peace deal popped up. Is there anyone else that we would like to get? Turkey would be cool, but I think they are hard to get. Yep. Let's just find a man. What the? F no, no, no. I will remember that. I will remember that, Mr. Soviet. There we go. We shall conquer Oman and Sweden. We still haven't taken Danzig. 
Oh, right, because there were eight Soviet divisions that are no longer here because now the Soviets are at war. Thank you. We shall conquer Norway. Might as well justify in Estonia. There we go. Look at this peace deal. Look at them. War score. Mussolini, for whatever reason, really likes this piece. I wish there was some constant submit demands until you don't have points anymore or something. You know, you know. Let, let's say Alsace Lorraine, where you can just be like, I definitely want this thing out of peace deal, no matter what the Italians say. There's a few things we should do. Produce some proper planes. I don't think I have the proper... Yeah, I don't have the cast yet. I don't have the guns yet. And I don't have the chassis yet. An additional research slot would be very cool right now. Macedonia is no longer a core of German Reich. No, my most important province. German cores are rest You know what? I'm gonna see if I can get this. You never know with Hearts of Iron, you know? No, you don't. We will not give up our territory without a fight. They get a war goal. They don't get a war goal. Romania rejects the- Okay. I was wondering why the Soviets never got a war goal against you if you deny it, if you're not Romania. But if the event even says Romania rejects the demands, then they get a war goal against Romania. Paradox probably just didn't code this. Ah, oh, she's just saying, man, I love finding out how games work. Okay, I just realized why editing. This literally does say Kingdom of Romania. We shall produce the overlord 125 points for this oh i gotta make use of this we actually got a core on macedonia <laughs> i love this game man oh my god okay no no i'm not gonna do that uh yeah let's just declare war on the soviets and uh, they will attack me and just grind themselves down as the soviets do don't think we yeah we have too many factories now japan is gonna come at us but it's fine we are mentally prepared yeah, within three months, you've lost 1.5 million men and killed 25,000. Wait, why are you raiding me here? We do have the cannons. Oh, that's big, that's big, that's big. Which means we can finally produce the gods of the skies. There we go, we already have some. I'm not using tanks and planes yet, it's just the navy. We do have enough tanks. I'm gonna see if I can get a second division out, but... Wait, what? Oh, they just got shuffled, what? There we go. Now I have the tanks on the Gommel. Still attacking. I don't think he's pushed a single province. Not even those without supply. Yep. It is time, I think. You shall attack here. Staff of his plan. Y'all are good. There we go. And I'll just auto this. How many? 3.4 million for not even 100,000. Without planes, without anything. I also don't have oil. That might be a bit of a problem. I assume that I can't get oil from anybody. But I can at least prevent myself from draining oil. Oh wow, they all just fled away. We will not yield an inch. You also do not get hungry. You just asked me for Slovakia. Then you ask me again, but you changed the question like... That's something that children do. Or conservatives trying to get chat control passed. What's the difference? I think I'm just gonna make a push here. Don't wanna kill him yet, but you know, just push him in a little bit. Can I please just, can I please just make my interest? Can I please just make my interest? You're a calm river in a volcano. There's nothing that can stop you apart from yourself. For now, I'm just gonna put you here. Because I don't wanna bother with some cringe front lines. Yay, you can rejoin the front lines again. And starve. I shouldn't use the tanks for this. Full of Moscow already. Meow. Actually, we are at war with Japan, right? Yeah. So I don't even need to hurry up with justifying on the US. Oh, I got a Thunder Division. They shall take out Luxembourg. We could, of course, justify on Finland for some mill axis. But I don't think we need it. Okay, sure. You join Japan, that's... yeah, fine. I didn't want to annex Luxembourg anyway. Okay, okay, what? That... that wasn't even a fight. Sure. Yeah, China will soon fall, that's perfect for me. Donuts, I have a very special order for you now. Rush to Kamchatka. You know what, just take Spain, I guess. Yes, China is gone. Now this does mean that we have this very beautiful huge front, especially here, the stupid little border. Oh great, they were all bombed. Let's get a few of those ships up here that are not really damaged. Damaged? 
and repaired within two days. Let's just look at this. You're probably repaired in a single day. This has got to be one of the weirdest things I've ever done in Hearts of Iron. Organizing my navy to repair it quicker in the hopes that I can use Donuts. Donuts has half a navy again. Hooray! Only 70 ships left. Don't tell me. No! Don't tell me you were on the Spanish border. What? What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, I know what's happening. We didn't have a port. Well, let's do some convoy raiding then. Some very light convoy raiding. <laughs> Just look at them pop up here. I shall also give Dönitz command. Oh, logistics wizard, yes. Please. Take it, take it, take it. This game has gone on quite a long time already. And we don't even need... To... Oh, Spain didn't even join the... That is surprising for me, to me. Uh, I really expected too much from my divisions. I knew something like that could happen, but I was like, come on, they are right here. Surely they're not gonna be this stupid. The logistics is just screwing them over right now. Because of the trucks in them, they can't move. They don't have fuel. And also the flame tanks, right? Attack from these two sides. They are saved. Immediately have supply again, and they can attack. I'm just gonna keep these two here until help arrives. Whoa, we have red air. And I don't have a production key. Uh, yes, I love it. I love Paradox. Thank you. Thank you so much. Actually, I still have a production queue. You can see one of them. I love that the German East Indies haven't capitulated yet. They really are just holding on. And we're slowly pushing due to getting some air bases going. Japan, don't make me invade you. Navally, that's precisely what they're gonna do. Okay, let's stop with this attack for now. You don't have any convoys anymore. Oh, the US. The US is doing something. I don't want you to do something. Fall of Tokyo and they are getting desperate. Oh my god, the US might have just screwed me. Okay, uh, force attack. The idea here is to just split them up. Come on. Yes, we encircled all of these beautiful, amazing divisions. Come on, just hold out, hold out, hold out, hold out. You pin here? Please? No! Ah! Uh, would've been cool. Would've been cool to encircle them. That's the downside. If Japan beats China, then they could just pour every single division they have into Japan and then the battle for Japan turns into this very annoying fest. This might have helped ease the tension a little bit here. Because these troops don't really seem like they can hold. Begin heavy water production. What? Oh wait, that was some German plan for nuclear weapons. They almost got it, but by the time that they were very close, I think they, they had to leave. But that's a historical thing for Germany for having Norway, which is also why I never see it, because I never bother with Norway. There you go, Portugal joins. Let's just dump an additional 1000 planes here. Hey, look at that, we finally have green air. Who would have thunk? At this point, I'm gonna do something cheeky that is also a little bit breaky because I don't want to bother with front lines across these straits. First, then I have to put troops here and it's just so ultimately unbelievably grinch. If I wait a little bit longer, I will get a research bonus. Although it doesn't matter at this point. I have a research bonus in spirit then. Portugal is gone, All right? I shall make a naval invasion into Shanghai. Yeah. Italy still hasn't taken out Switzerland. Oh my god. Yeah, sure. You have something to toy around with. Not because I like you, but because I don't want to see you. Maybe you'll get shot on the front line. Oh, fuck you. That's where I wanted to land. We might as well attack from this side as well. Get a bit more war score, although the US shouldn't really be able to contest anything. Just some minor islands and such. It's so ridiculous. Like, there's not a single Chinese person here, nor is there a single American here. Oh, I found some. Of both America. kinds. Oh, Oh no, Switzerland is gonna annex Italy if I declare war on Italy. All right, uh, I'm not gonna get Italy in this game then. It really is just a loading screen at this point or a cutscene. Oh my God, I have convoys, but they're not getting anywhere because they're all just getting raided. You know what, Italy, feel free to protect my convoys. <gasps> One division from China. Uh, they did get a lot of stuff from occupation, sadly. Invading China is a fun and also fun for. Oh, wow, fuck, man. Wait, what the fuck? That's mine. It's a German East Indies. Proclaim Greater Germany. Yay. And you know what? I wanted to take the US out, but 
This game was so grindy and it's also starting to get hot because I'm recording very early today just so I can actually record. Alright, just don't 